Okay, this is my second video. Um, I've taken the body off of the scooter, and this will kind of show you the the internals. Um, it's on right now. The uh, the noise is the fan for the speed control. Um, I added this voltmeter. Uh, it just monitors the battery voltage. It's uh, 26.2. It's kind of hard to see in this shot, but. Uh, um, using the stock motor, uh, back there is the inbuilt charter, or built in, I should say, charter. I re reused the key switch so that arms and disarms the ESC. Uh, this right here is a servo stretcher, which I'll get to in a second. Um, here's a plug for the charging cord. And then I also, that, on the battery switch, or on the battery meter, I have a uh, switch too. So I can monitor while it charges, and if I don't want it on, I don't have to have it on. Um, I'm using a traditional uh, RC stuff. This is uh, these are EC5s, and uh, this is a Mamba Monster 2 by Castle Creations. And then I've got a Spectrum uh, Sport Surface Receiver, uh, three-channel radio. And uh, up front here, or closer to the front, I should say, are the batteries. They're uh, two 12 volt gel cells, deep cycle, um, running series for 24 volt. And then up here is the, the heart of the steering. Uh, I'll, I'll flip this over here in a second, I'll show you how that works. Um, but it's a giant scale servo in a uh, custom gearbox set up from servocity.com and uh, but since we're here I'll show you what it, what what you can see from up here um, the servo is geared I had to take the servo apart and take out the potentiometer uh, feedback potentiometer so now it's in a continuously um, rotating mode however it, the potentiometer wires are wired to this external potentiometer which gives it feedback off the shaft that it uh, that the servo arm is driven off of. So I'll show you that here in a little bit more. Um, but like I said, since I've got it flipped over the correct way, uh, there's my steering arm, uh, and then I used uh, these ball links. Um, I had to weld two bolts together to get my my linkage. Uh, it's fine thread. I couldn't find any all thread in that. Uh, pitch, so I use that. Um, I added some some bracing. This tubing, I added this spine. This the spine section was from the uh, original foot platform that was on here. I I reused it. It was it was there, so um, that's why it has these kind of funky curves in it. But um, I'll uh, I'll flip it over here and show you the servo. So as I'm taking this apart, um, I thought I'd show how the original scooter came apart. Um, the seat post mounted to here, uh, it obviously went up, and uh, off of this was a uh, angled piece going this way, and it had a latch. And you could latch the rear portion to the front portion. That's to this thing was heavy, this thing was 200 something pounds originally, so for transport it'd break into three sections, I think, the, hand, the handlebar, the front steering piece, and the rear. Um, I, I have it built, designed to come apart, and I'll show you how that works here real quick since I'm going to take it apart anyway. Um, so this platform here was... Um, was here, and I, I added this, these two pieces of angle and these two posts, and this this supports the wagon itself. And then this part here. Uh, so this is the front, and then everything past everything on these pins and back is the rear. And as you lift it up, it comes apart. And I need two hands to do this, so I'll just take it apart and show you. 
So here's the wagon in its two pieces, the front and the rear. Obviously this one's about three quarters and a quarter, but this rear portion is significantly heavier um, with the motor and everything else. So uh, it's kind of bulky, but it works. So uh, I'll flip the front over and show you the, the motor or the servo here in a second. 